my name's Joel Jett. Uh, I have now lived in Portland probably, I don't know, almost 12 years now. I think I moved here about tail end of 2001. And, uh, I don't know, I've been, came out of Idaho. Actually, I was playing in bands there, and it was a small college town called Moscow. So we moved out here, and, uh, I guess, band history, I play in a band called Jetpack. Uh, another band after that called Flip Tops, and then one called The Mines, and um, I've been in out of bands currently <laughs> since then, like probably about, I don't know, four or five different ones, but I'm starting to get back into music again, playing a lot more than I was. Uh, current projects right now would be The Red Shadows, and I'm also playing a band called Young Fast Scientific. Well, I guess, I mean, pretty much doing whatever the hell you want. I mean, starting a band, playing whatever you want, playing it loud, playing it mean, playing it fast. Um, maybe that's not always the case, but that's how I do it. So, um, Punk rock in Portland, I mean, it's a city that's always had a great history, I think, of punk rock. I mean, ever since the 70s, all the way up till now. Um, you know, uh, I dropped out of the music scene here for a little while. Um, I just kind of got... Uh, life got in the way I guess and I'm busy working and things like that and doing other things and um, recently started getting interested in the scene again um, I think a lot of bands are starting to move here I think it's every kid's dream because right now I guess it's some kind of music mecca so there's a lot of terrible bands here but recently I've been going out and finding out there's a lot more bands that no one even knows about that are completely amazing um, so I think it's it's coming back uh, one thing I'd love wish I could change is more people actually going out and seeing shows rather than just sitting around at home and being apathetic about the whole thing because they think they've seen it all but I guarantee you you haven't um, that's one other thing I think that's been good about Portland is there's a lot of venues around um, and a lot of smaller venues um, and it seems to I mean maybe not for everybody unless you don't know a lot of people but I mean even so, even if you go to some of the smaller venues that are willing to help out any kind of upcoming band, just go up and ask, send a demo tape, whatever, they'll get in touch with you. I mean, lots of venues, it's hard for them to book every night of the week, so you're going to have a spot to play if you just try. And uh, I think Portland's pretty, it's pretty, uh, I don't know how I want to say it, spoiled with venues. Other cities don't have a whole lot of places to play record stores too. We have a ton of them. In other cities, not so much. Cut in loose. He's drinking juice.